I just finished. Oh, me too. It was... Same. I love. Oh, me too. Do you wanna... Yes, let's do it. Great, we'll have to... Already on it. Awesome. Wait, wait, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I... Can we just go over all of that again? I don't think I understood a single thing that just happened. Oh, good. Me neither. Uncharted collab? I was actually talking about your girlfriend, but yeah, we could do a collab. <laughs> wait, what? and salutations and welcome to the Toka Show where today I have our resident Uncharted fan slash dweeb Tesla Chad. A pleasure to be here as always. Today we are talking about Uncharted The Lost Legacy on PlayStation 4, the newest installment in the Uncharted series. This one is interesting though because originally it was supposed to be DLC for Uncharted 4, but now it's a full game because the team at Naughty Dog are a bunch of overachievers. Even though it's sort of in between an expansion and a full installment, I still expect a full-fledged experience here. Why are you saying that like you're the only one who's expecting a full Uncharted experience? I like the Uncharted games just as much as you do. <laughs> sure you do, buddy. I do! Uncharted Lost Legacy stars the best character from Uncharted 2 and the worst character from Uncharted 4. This is the first immediate big change to the Uncharted formula. You aren't Nathan Drake anymore. No, no, don't you start. <laughs> Stop it. Don't say it. We... Don't you dare. We aren't Nathan Drake. <laughs> Instead, you play as Chloe Frazier, which honestly is pretty cool. Yeah, she's no Nathan Drake, but if we had to play as anyone else in the series, I'm glad it's Chloe. I also would have been fine with Sam, but you know, whatever. Once you boot up the game, you can immediately feel that Naughty Dog polish, with every character model being some of the most detailed in any video game, and the environments being lush and diverse. One thing I always loved about the Uncharted games is that you as the player are thrown into many different and diverse locations to keep things fresh. Lost Legacy doesn't throw you into too many different locations, but everything still feels pretty diverse because of all the different structures and beautiful architecture. It kind of reminds me of something. I can't quite put my finger on it though. The world of Uncharted Lost Legacy feels so lived in. You can see how the environment has been lived in and worn out as it often breaks away or is decayed. The music, of course, is amazing and it really lets the player know how to feel, whether it be an intense situation or exciting fight or even awe and wonder. The voice acting matches all the other aesthetics perfectly as it is it's beautiful. Yes, the voice acting in the Uncharted series is unparalleled in its delivery and quality, really making the player connect with Chloe and feeling what she feels. It's a good thing too, because for what this game is, stellar voice acting is essential. Kinda like in my show. Hello there, Tesla Chad. What is it that you are up to right now? Oh, hello there, Toka. I am just playing Uncharted The Lost Legacy, as it is a very good game that I enjoy to play a lot. Oh, by the way, how is your girlfriend doing? Do you have a... Wait, what's that say? Oh, do you have a crush on my girlfriend, Toka? Because if you do, I'll have to cut you. Do you want to go, bro? Let's... Let's do this. Go! There are a few new mechanics to Uncharted as well as the old that we all know and love. One thing that hasn't changed is how you can approach situations. More often than not, you have the choice of sneaking up on enemies and taking them out one by one, or just going all Rambo on them. Or not Rambo, someone else, but who? The exploration aspect and puzzle solving is also still here, and of course the puzzles are up to par with the rest of the series. Some of them, I'd say, being better than most. Things that are new in this installment are lockpicking and elephants. Just elephants. The lock picking is especially neat, as it's very fun to just find a locked box and pick it. It's very simple, but still charming in its own right. The other new addition to the series is obviously the omission of any male protagonists. Well, I guess Sam's there near the end, but nobody really cares about him.
One thing that was really cool to me was how Chloe wasn't over-sexualized as a female protagonist in the game, especially since she was over-sexualized in Uncharted 2, so it would have been really easy for Naughty Dog to continue with that model, but they didn't. See, girls can be hot and not exploited for it. Hear that? Freaking... Kim... Possible... and... Sa Samus? See? She's wearing jeans and a t-shirt for the whole game. Yeah, that's right, I'm calling you out, Lara. Put some pants on! No, no, seriously, you could scrape yourself and get an infection. Just looking out. The story is pretty intense in its own right, and centers around Chloe and Nadine connecting and growing their relationship as they learn to trust each other more. It's a really cool thing to see these characters go from not trusting each other at all to going to great lengths to save each other's lives. The story at times does feel a little forced though, with one of the characters sharing a backstory or personal history for no real reason. It feels straight up awkward sometimes, but ultimately you can forgive it because it is a very personal and sweet story. The first half of the game takes place in this one map where you drive around and go to different areas solving puzzles. This part of the game is actually pretty cool and reminiscent of Super Mario 64 as you're forced to become familiar with one area and do multiple tasks in it. There are also these coins you can travel across the map and collect to get a prize, the Queen's Bracelet, that really helps out with the completionist aspect of this game. I'm not going to tell you what it does exactly because Chad thinks it's a spoiler. No spoilers. No spoilers. I will, however, mention that when you get the bracelet, you get an achievement saying, Yas Queen, and that's just hilarious to me. Now, the game isn't perfect. There are some minor complaints. In the first large area, you have to pause to check the map, and sometimes it got quite annoying to have to stop driving just to make sure you were going the right way a lot of the time. I understand why they put it in there, to add to the adventure feel, but a heads-up display would have been nice. And finally, this is more of a personal thing, but in all of the Uncharted games, I end up finding myself dreading the combat. Don't get me wrong. I love the combat in Uncharted. It's very smooth and feels great. The cover mechanics work perfectly and the enemy diversity is awesome, but sometimes I feel like it disrupted the adventure too often. I love the climbing and the puzzle solving and sometimes I just didn't feel like murdering dudes while in the middle of doing a puzzle. But like I said, this is more of a personal preference than anything. And that's Uncharted Lost Legacy. Basically, it's well worth your time. If you like all the other Uncharted games, you'll love this one. And hey, even if you like Tomb Raider or haven't played any of those games, still give it a shot. Make sure to check out Tesla Chad's review of Uncharted this Friday. And thanks Chad for helping me out with this video. No problem, Toka. It's always a pleasure to- No, get out! Okay, bye. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a sudden urge to watch Indiana Jones right now. I really don't know why. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and if you liked what you saw here, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving that bell a dingling link so you are notified for whenever my new videos come out, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. Also, <laughs> might have to be snakes. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Also, check out Tesla Chat's channel. Uh, I will put the link in the description below. Uh, he comes on my channel all the time and helps me out with little skits and stuff, and he's one of my best YouTube friends. So go, please. It would it would mean a lot to me if you if you uh, check checked him out. <laughs> oh man, this is such a good movie.